Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. It's early. Well, it's 845. Um, okay, so we have someone coming today to do some stuff in the bathroom. So I'm up, dressed. I'm like mid skincare process. I'm sitting outside with Cash for a second. They're supposed to be here at nine. Um, okay, so on tap for today. They're coming, so I'll be doing work on the computer probably for most of the day. I do have a Brazilian appointment at 1225. So I'll take a break and go do that. My mom's going to come sit um, here while I do that. I'll probably grab us some lunch on the way back. And that's it. Brian gets off at 5. I did lay out some ground beef, so maybe we'll do something with that and do research um, some recipes. But anyway, I'm just popping in to say good morning. I'm getting emails as I'm talking to you. So <laughs> good morning. I'll see you soon. Hello, hello, hello. It's me again. It is 12. I'm going to say 12.08. That feels about right because my clock in my car is a little bit, uh, why did I point like that? <laughs> it's a little bit slow. All right, so I have showered. I'm headed to get the Brazilian. Do we like the updates? I don't know how, like, do you go every three weeks for the rest of your life? I need to ask her about that today and then I'll let you know what she says. But same deal, like there's you know, just like peach fuzz and stuff. There's not a ton of hair, but I can absolutely tell what she was talking about. So the first time you come, like the hair, some is longer than the other, so they pull it out, but then some grows and some doesn't. So you come every three weeks. This is my impression anyways. I could be completely wrong. Again, I'm gonna ask her today. But you come every two to three weeks because you want all of that hair to eventually grow at the same speed the same time and then I think you don't have to come as often because right now there's hair in spots where there wasn't hair three weeks ago you get what I'm saying so my mom the guy left the that was doing some stuff in the bathroom left before my mom needed to come over she still showed up at my house like on time as she was supposed to but he was leaving so she says to me um what, like, are you just going to do this forever? Because I was like, well, if I don't go today, then that is going to hurt worse. You know, if I, the longer I wait, the more hair, blah, blah, blah. She was like, well, you're going to have to stop eventually. I said, why? What if I'm like 85 getting my Brazilian wax? I don't know. I might, I might not. Who knows? But now it, it just feels so much I don't really know how to describe it because again, I do shave in the, in before this, I did shave pretty often, but I did get really bad razor burn. It, it grows back fast. Um, so it just, it's so nice to not have to worry about that. And I'm, I like it. So I'm going to keep doing it. Let's do that now. I'll ask her those questions and then I'll let you know what she says. Remind me to show you, I'm at a red light, by the way, I'm completely stopped. Remind me to show you when I get home, you know, I planted my lemon tree. I showed it in last week's vlog. Um, it looks like an actual tree now versus just like a plant with like a green stock. What do you call it? Oh my gosh. Why am I having a brain fart? But the main branch, I guess, is looking like a tree now versus just like a thin green stick. So I'll show you that too when we get home because that makes me happy. It is about to pour, pour down rain. Okay, let's go in. I'm not as nervous anymore. I know what to expect and hopefully it only gets less painful. Stairs always. All right, we are done. I just placed an order for a grilled chicken Caesar wrap at McAllister's because where her, her office is is not far from McAllister's. So I'm gonna go give me a little wrap. Last time I ordered one, I went inside and ordered to go to bring home. And the, did I tell y'all this story already? I feel like I've told this story. Anyway, the guy working the register was new. I think I've said this. Anyway, he rang me up for a chicken club, but I didn't know until I got home. It was still good, don't get me wrong, but it was not the grilled chicken Caesar wrap that I wanted. So I haven't gotten my fix in a while. So I'm gonna go pick that up, but let's do a little chat because Tish is the sugarist, I think is what you call it. And I asked her a lot of questions because I feel like I get a lot of questions as a plus size person who gets this service done. So every two to three weeks while you're letting all of the hair grow at the same speed. And then after that, you can come every four weeks if you want, but that's the amount of time, four weeks, 
for the rest of your life if you so choose. Um, so I booked my appointment. I'm not quite at the four week mark yet, but I'm going on vacation next month and I wanted to make sure that it was fresh for that. So I'm going back in two and a half weeks and then two and a half weeks again. And then after that, hopefully I can start my four week um, service every four weeks. I also asked her about positions, how you lay and you, it's really whatever you're comfortable with. So initially she'll ask you to do the butterfly, like lay on your back, butterfly position. If you're unable to do that, she says there's so many other ways that you can lay is you can do like one leg off to the side, one leg bent, both legs off to the side of the table. Um, it's like a massage looking table that you lay on. So she said there's several different ways that you can do it. And she's, you know, really good at moving things around or like if she needs to like say like my stomach on my leg, like separate that area to get the hair, like she does all of that. And then as far as your backside, if you choose to do, to do like the full Brazilian, which is the strip of your backside as well, um, then you will pull your knees to your chest while you're laying on your back. If you can't do that, she showed me another way is like to lay on one side, one knee forward, and then you kind of help her and hold one of your butt cheeks open for her. Um, and if you can't do that, some people just lay flat on their stomachs. Like there's so many different ways. I wanted to ask her because again, I get a lot of questions about it. So I'm very comfortable. I'm not really modest. And I think that's a big thing that deters some people from doing it in the first place is the fact that you are really exposed, you know, to the sugarous while you're doing the service. But she does it all day long. You know, it's not, I'm not concerned about it is what I'm trying to say, I guess. So that's not really a hurdle I had to overcome. It's more so the pain. And as far as the pain, it was not bad at all. I think I went maybe once or twice and that was it. And we just had a good conversation, chatted. Again, I asked her a bunch of questions. So anyway, there you go. I'm gonna go pick up my wrap. I'm already here. I've been talking to you for three minutes and 30 seconds and I'm pulling in. And then I'm gonna run to Walmart right here unless it starts raining. But I'm gonna run into Walmart because I've been seeing all over TikTok and online graphic t-shirts from the men's sections that are five men's section that are five bucks like regular price and people are saying that they're like incredible like for your oversized graphic tees y'all know last vlog i tried the urban outfitters they didn't really work out so i have a video idea that i want to do so i'm going to go and see if i can actually get you know the tees from the men's section i've been to one walmart already and they didn't have any graphic tees. I mean, they did, but they said like Levi's and Wrangler. They weren't like, you know, the typical graphic tees that I like, but that video will already be up by the time that you're watching this. If it happens, if I find no graphic tees, then it's not a video. But um, if I find some things, I'll show you what I found and then I'll link the video down below. So let's eat. It's one o'clock. I had breakfast this morning at probably eight. What time did I talk to you? It was probably like 8.50. I had breakfast and then they came for the bathroom. So Anyway, there you go. I'll see you at Walmart. All right, before we go to Walmart, let's go see if they have this, the Pureology shampoo and conditioner that I like. So it's the blue, what is it? The blue tealy container, maybe? Is this one it? Yes, I think that's it. I don't see anything else. It wasn't this gray. It was definitely, was it definitely that? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. They were having a sale on the big bottles and I should have gotten it then and I didn't. We've made it to Walmart. I'm gonna end the vlog part here because I'm gonna video some in case I do find some really great t-shirts. So I'll see you when I get home with my shirts. Oh, I was able to use like 14 bucks in worth of points at Ulta. So I'm not mad about that because that Pureology stuff is pretty expensive. I'm home now. This is my lemon tree. She's looking good. It did rain today. So I was just out here earlier, you know, obsessing over the growth and stuff. And then I look down here. Is it gonna focus? Yeah, look. Instead of it looking like this green part, it looks like an actual tree. I don't know why that makes me so excited. I wonder why you're not super clear. Do you look super clear? Because to me, you look a little bit hazy. 
I made some purchases at Walmart. I couldn't find the exact like $5 tees, though I didn't really get a good look at them um, and all the TikToks and stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you what I got and then I'll tell you my plans, what I'd like to do. Okay, so first we have this Kiss shirt. I'll tell you how much they were as we go. Men's tee, men's tee. I think this one was $8.98. I got four tees. Okay, so $8.98. I like, I like. I do wish they were a little bit more distressed. So we'll talk about that too. And then I did get this black Corvette one. I thought was super cool. Like with bike shorts, I liked. That one was also $8.98, by the way. The only tee that was even remotely close to $5 was this one. It was $5.50. Says Sublime. So this one I like, but it's just like a little bit too bright for me. So I think I'm going to try to distress it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and the most expensive one I got was $13.98, $68, 58 one of those. But I loved the color, and it's so soft. And it's this one, this Harry Potter one. I thought it could be cute with like acid wash, like dark denim shorts, like front tucked. Plus again, the color I liked, and it's super soft. So that's my tea collection. So now what I think I'm gonna do, like I mentioned with that Sublime one, I'm gonna go through and see if I can find a really great tutorial on distressing because it was only $5.50, see if I can follow it. And see if I can make me a cute distressed tee. So that's the plan for today. It's now 2.35. Um, other than that, like I have nothing else to tell you. Oh, did I show you? I did show you. Oh my gosh, why am I having such brain farts? I did show you the lemon tree. For you, that was just a second ago. For me, I guess it was a little bit longer than that. All right, so I'll link the video down below because it is gonna be a really good video, I think. I kinda of wanna do this kiss one as well. Should I try it? Hmm. I'm gonna see what I can find online first before I commit to doing the distressing. So, all right, I'll see y'all another time because I'm gonna handle this so that I can put it all together for tomorrow's video. Good morning. I just put sunblock on and I don't think I rubbed it in all the way. Um, happy Monday. It's eight, almost 8.05. Um, Cash has a spa appointment today, so I'm letting her go potty and then I will take her, drop her off, um, and then I'm gonna go work out. And that's the plan. So I just wanted to say hello. Good morning. I could have slept in so much longer today, um, but what I think I need to focus on is rubbing in this sunblock. And we are off. I wanted to tell y'all that, okay, so I bought Cash a new harness yesterday because we know last week's vlog, the one that I had, I felt like was a little bit big and this one's way too small. So it's, I got her the medium. She was wearing the large, it was too big. So yesterday I bought a medium and it's like this far from hooking, even on like the largest size available. So, I don't know, maybe I need to get a different brand or kind or something that's a little bit more um, generous with sizing, I guess. You know what I mean, that has more sizing options because that one's too small. And I want her to have a cute one. I just bought the exact same one in a size smaller. It's from Target, if you are interested. It was 14 bucks, 14.99 I think actually. So but yeah, she's in the back seat now. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh. I realized yesterday that you didn't see very much of me. I had big plans to vlog for the day, but we ended up doing a bunch of bathroom stuff. So I didn't pick up the camera again. So right now it is 830 in the morning. I'm headed to work out and then I have a couple of returns. So I figured I'll work out. We'll get us a yellow hammer coffee. We'll run to Target. I'm returning the harness for cash that's too small and then I am going to return the Harry Potter t-shirt I got from Walmart I hauled it in my like graphic tee video it it just doesn't work for me 
and I'm gonna get my 14 bucks back. So we'll do those couple of things. Someone's coming, they'll be in the bathroom for a few hours today. And then I'll probably just come back home. Oh, I need to take the garbage out, hang on. Okay, and we're back. I'm glad I walked it out there because I had a package in the mail. They will shove, they as in like the person that delivers, the post office that delivers my mail, will shove whatever they can into that mailbox. It might be a package, as long as it's in like the plastic or paper packaging, not a box, it's going in the mailbox. It doesn't matter if it's like fighting for its life in there, it's going in there, so I'm glad I checked it. All right, let's go work out, and then I'll see you at Yellowhammer. Okay, fun fact. I've only ever had the same drink from Yellowhammer Coffee. Large ice blondie, no whip, two shots of espresso instead of three. Well, okay, I take it back. In the beginning, I would just get it as is, but y'all know the espresso, like I feel like I have more energy than the average person my age. <laughs> so I didn't really need the espresso, so. All right, workout was good. I've been reading a book on my Kindle. Now let's go to Let's do Target. Okay. We have made it to Target. This is the harness. I know it looks small, but listen, the large was a little bit big. So it says this is the medium up to 40 pounds, which is why I didn't get it in the beginning because cash is probably 57, I would say at this point. Last time she went to the vet six months ago, she was like 56. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I got the large, which was 55 and up I think anyway it doesn't really matter but I'm gonna return this one I think it was did I tell you earlier already it was $14.99 what I love about Target is that when you return something so I use my debit card for this I'll go in there return it like you put your card in and your pin number and stuff this man is watching me talk to myself <laughs> um, and you put your like card number in and everything by the time I like walk back out and sit in my car and check my banking app, the money's there. Why can't everyone be like that? I was thinking about that on the drive over when, you know, companies are like seven to 10 business days and you'll have a refund. Can y'all get with Target? You know, like let us, let, let Target know what's going on. They can help you so that we can get our, get our money back quicker. So let's go return this. And I'm telling myself I don't need anything. Now at Walmart, we may get some paper plates because I was just here two days ago and they didn't have it so we may get some at walmart and just like that we're done i was in there all of 12 seconds also i had a minor freak out because i couldn't find my phone but i'm talking to y'all on it now we're in the walmart parking lot i'm not really sure where the returns are because i didn't get this one get this from my normal Walmart, but I'm passing the one I bought it from. I'm pretty sure you can return to any Walmart. You're like really low down. Um, but I'll show you the t-shirt. Sorry about that. But it was kind of for the best because now you're even in a better position. Okay, super soft, but it's just not oversized like I wanted. I probably would just end up sleeping in it and I don't need another sleep shirt. So here it is. It's in a size 2XL, like official Harry Potter themed and I think it was $13.98. Yes, $13.98. This was the more expensive or the most expensive tea I bought that day that I bought Walmart tea. So we'll sip a little coffee. I didn't even tell y'all that tomorrow I'm going with my sister, my nieces to New Orleans for the day. It's not far from me. It's probably two hours, I would say, give or take. Um, so we're gonna go to the aquarium, have lunch and just shop around and stuff. Obviously, it's summertime, so my nieces aren't in school. That plane is coming in hot. Like, fast. I'm close to the airport. It was like a smaller plane, not like a commercial size plane. Like, maybe a per like a single person. Not single, but you know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Because they would have landed by now. And I don't see anything. So hopefully everything's okay. They were coming in hot. All right, let's go in. Let's return this. We'll probably grab some paper plates, depending on where they are in correlation to the returns. I'm not trying to walk the whole store, you know? So I'm going in on the market side. So let's see how far I am from returns. Hopefully they're, I'm thinking they're somewhere in the middle. Not too far, right past the green key, she says. All right, that was pretty quick. Now let's find 
paper products. Here we are. I'll take them. I probably should have gotten a buggy for waters. Okay, let's just grab one. They have this, like this brand that we really like. We usually get it from Costco. So maybe I'll get something. Like we have this, yeah, now we have a buttery steak one that's really good. That well, sounds pretty good. I think it's this one that we have. We have the steak blend and then we have some kind of buttery steak. Not the burger and not the chicken, but they're really good. And we're gonna get this one too. And the whole reason I came back with a buggy is for all the waters. Y'all know it already. We like the lemon and orange for sure. Four of each should be good. Probably for the week. We drink a lot of water. And while I'm here, I'm gonna grab one of these. These are my favorite paper towels. I realized that I didn't even tell you the full extent of what else we were doing today because I was distracted by a uh, fast flying airplane, which sounds like an oxymoron, but okay. So because we're gonna go to the aquarium, have lunch, all that stuff for a day trip, I'm driving. I get way too car sick to not drive. So I'm gonna run through the car wash and just vacuum it out because, you know, cash does sit with me quite often in the car. And so there's dog hair everywhere. We do have one of those back seat, I wanna call it a canopy, but that's not the right word. Um, it's like a, you know, the thing that straps in, it goes over the back, the bottom and the top and the front. So she sort of sits in it, but it's the whole back seat that's covered. Why am I having a brain fart with that? Um, anyway, I do have one of those, but I don't know why I don't use it. Don't ask me. Okay, car wash. But first I'm gonna sit in this parking lot. I need to make my video go live for today. Car wash, and then I'm going home. So that's all the fun stuff for today. I may do something later today, just depends on how long the people are there doing stuff in the bathroom, which shouldn't be too long, but also it was $66 at Walmart. Why is everything so expensive? I got paper towel, you saw paper towels, paper plates, eight six packs of water and three um, seasoning things. And it was $66. Okay, I'll see you later. Happy Wednesday, good morning. Fun fact for you, the zoo and aquarium are closed on Wednesdays in New Orleans. So I am a not, not in fact, not in fact on my way to New Orleans. I just worked out. Um, so we're gonna go tomorrow instead. But for today, I need to run to UPS, drop off a package. I may run to Publix um, and get some really good bread. Brian and I mixed some chicken salad last night. So maybe find some good bread for sandwiches for dinner tonight. That sounds good. I didn't have any meat or anything to lay out. So I'm thinking the chicken salad sandwich and maybe get like a bag of like plain Lay's potato chips or something. That sounds pretty good. So that'll be for dinner. Unfortunately, tomorrow will be New Orleans, so you won't see it in this vlog. However, next week, the day that you're watching next week's vlog, so not tomorrow, which is what, the 13th or 14th? Not then, but the next Thursday, the 21st, you're watching it on my birthday. I have nothing special planned for that day. Um, however, over the weekend, I told y'all already, I'm doing a, we're doing a little pool thing with my family, but anyways, that's the plan. So I guess I'll probably, I'll see you at Publix. We'll go pick out some bread together. Is this like just the grocery shopping vlog? <laughs> because that's, that's what we've done, I feel like. We went to Target, Ulta, Walmart. Now we're gonna go to Publix. Update, it's way later. <laughs> it's not in fact just after I worked out this morning. So I went home, I was hungry. So I wanted to do breakfast. I went home, had breakfast, took a shower, caught up on some work. It is now almost 1.30, but I'm sitting outside of Publix. I do need dog treats too. So let's go. All right, we bought, I think it was this one last time, but we don't have any left. We do like these as well. We're back in the car already. It was packed in there. And I was trying to talk to y'all at the bread and then people started coming up. So, but I ended up getting both of the ones that I mentioned, the bread and then the rolls. And then I tr I got something different for Cash. She likes this brand, um, but sometimes she gets picky. Y'all know how dogs are. So I got the little, what are they called? 
home style grilled chicken peas and carrots, but it's like little round pieces. These were $15. But <laughs> she rang these up first. And I was like, why are they so expensive? But I bought them because I love my dog. All right, so we're gonna head to post office, UPS, those things. I'm gonna end the vlog here because again, how many times do I say every week? I need to edit you. Also, the girl that checked me out, um, I don't know what she was talking about. I thought I didn't think she was talking to me at first, but she was telling me, I'm pretty sure she was talking to me because there was no one else around. Telling me a story about how her, it's her sister's birthday is coming up and her, my card's in reverse, if you know, you know. That her sister's birthday is coming up and her sister's bougie, but she's broke. So she asked for her, the girl at the register who works here, to buy her a Polaroid camera because she's like, you got a job. So maybe you can buy me a Polaroid camera for my birthday. And I was just like, oh, okay. But let me tell you, Polaroid cameras are expensive now. I got one for Brian, either for his birthday or Christmas, and it was $199, 200 bucks. <clears throat> so anyway, that's it. I'm gonna do my running around, go home and edit you. You're watching this tomorrow. Don't forget, next week, the day that you watch this will be my birthday. I'm so excited. I don't know why, I just love summertime and like my birthday and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, we, we understand. And I'll see you um, on Saturday. I think I'm gonna do, okay, we'll, we'll put it in park for a second. I think I'm gonna do my favorite denim shorts video because I get a lot of questions about shorts and I don't need any additional shorts. Like I have a great collection of shorts that I really, really love, denim shorts. So I think I'm gonna do like a closet clean out denim shorts and maybe the ones that I don't think I need or don't fit me right or I don't like anymore, whatever, I'll post on Poshmark. That's the plan. So I'll see you Saturday.